Hey there everybody, this is Shadigo and uh, we're going to White Party Zone. Hey, that's my favourite level in the game, it also has my least favourite level in the game. It also has some like, happy music. Act 1 has a lot of happy music. Act 2 is Act two's actually quite nostalgic, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, the red is actually a pain in the ass to um, get at. Because it involves flying up here. And then it's actually right there, it's actually hard to get past. You can actually roll these snowballs onto the spikes, which is pretty great. Because I'm gonna end up getting impaled by spikes otherwise. And the normal it actually takes you right to that star post. So if you don't fly there, you're not really losing any sleep. But also a lot of avalanches you have to um, avoid. You get hit by the avalanche, I'm pretty sh sure you're dead. Just like that. Well, that was me being stupid. And I think the red star ring doesn't... Uh, I think the red star ring respawns as well. Uh, no, it doesn't. I collect the red star ring. That's pretty great. Uh, the red stirrings are optional, you just need them to get an achievement, that's all. So yeah, I just thought it was like uh, site generation, you, you don't get the red stirring, you have to go back and get it again. Kinda lame. I mean, not that I'm really that bored about Scar and oh, these guys you kind of don't want to. I don't really want to give any notes to them. The power ball kills them in one hit, but otherwise, you're going to have to um, hit them like I think it's like two or three times. Yes, I saw you there, Mr. Snowball. I always keep getting caught out by the snowball as well. That, that particular snowball has kind of caught me out a few times. Is like. Oh hey, I'm a snowball, I'm going to go and be a snowball. And ruin my die. So that's actually the first time I've avoided it properly. And again, if it's not the snowballs, it's gonna be the um the big polar bars, but like I say you see one on the screen just like zooms out like that, there's a sign that's gonna be one there. So power ball, you need to power ball anyway to get through this. And if you're going through these sections like this, don't go out of the power ball. You will instantly die. And hey, snowboards, how are you doing today? Oh, no, I want to go that way. And no, that's flying. I want power ball. Stay in power ball here because there's more of these snow drifts. Just jump up here. I would have thought that the uh, red staring was actually around here, but no, in fact, it's not. Yeah, to actually jump up to the high ground and s such uh, shenanigans. But as it turns out, no, you don't. Actually, an extra life though, you cared so much for it, but I don't. And we have another special stage, which is super great. Again, I should actually show off one thing with the special stages, which uh, might make them a lot easier, and by a lot easier, I mean not to uh, make you know, pull your hair out trying to get to the special stage every single time. And basically, it goes something like this. Pause button. Retry. You can retry the bonus stages just like you could in episode 1. So, if you're having trouble, say like on the 7th special stage, um, which you will have trouble on, trust me, you will have trouble on special stage 7. You can just pause the game before you realize you're at the goal, you're not going enough rings. 
hit retry and do it again. Uh, I doubt I'll do it because there's no way I'm going to be doing special stage 7 without losing my sanity and having like an hour's worth of footage to try and edit out. So, uh, again, yeah, kind of why I'm not really going for the Chaos Emeralds. So, let's just get back to the action here so I don't uh, really have. I'm not going like, oh, what was I supposed to be doing again? Like, oh, yeah, I remember now, I'm supposed to be getting Chaos Emeralds. I want the, I want the middle one, but oh well, I missed them all, so I can just go. Whoop! Hey, one fifty. That that was all right. Again, it's the total that matters, not just what, what uh, how many uh, rings Sonic gets. It's the total amount. So Tails can get rings, and it adds up to the total, and it's uh, all good. Uh, let me guess, 350 now, something like that. 350, yep, called it. And. Oh, we're not getting the ring bonus here because, uh. kinda goofed up. And that pinging sound? You might actually recognise it from Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 as the um, uh, you get near to like the Chaos Emerald, the Master Emerald thing when you're like, playing the hunting games. At least I think it's the same sound, but uh, you never know. I guess kind of chooses. So it's, it's not the first time uh, Sega have actually recycled sound effects for the games. So with that special stage done, I'm going to go into my favourite level in the game. My personal favourite level of this game. Richie, well done, Torinosis. At to White Park. And I'm going to give you a little music easter egg. Um, it's actually based off uh, Twinkle Park from Sonic Adventure. And you're, you're going to hear it in a minute. So I'm just going to be a little quiet so you can hear it. Do you not recognize the bit, the part from Twinkle Park though? So yeah, it's kind of one of the reasons I like it. The other reason is kind of like the, um, like, because it's like roller coaster based and you're, you're the roller coaster and it's, it's actually a really, really fast level if you know where you're going. And hopefully you don't get crushed, which you can do in this part. Fortunately, I'm not playing co-op, so Tails doesn't lose lives for me. And you can also actually go between the background and the foreground. You actually saw it earlier, you're actually going to see it here. And there's the red star ring. We're going to go and get that. To get that, we've got to go back into the foreground. And once we do... I want to stop. No, that was stupid. You really want to, like, slow down, like, when you get there. Actually, right near the red staring, so we can actually go back and get it. So, uh. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna get that red staring, even if it means I lose all my lives. Uh, the, pro the problem with uh, this red staring is that so you're gonna have to start really, really quickly so you can actually backtrack for it. And I have issues with that. So, uh, just hold... Nope, that's not gonna work. I'm sucking now. I do like this level and I can rush through this level I so felt like it, but, uh... I want that red star ring simply because it's there. And because it's red and it's got a big star in it and it's, like, shiny! Even though I collect shiny gold rings. Ah, there we go. 
thought that would work. So basically backtrack here, you may want to use the power roll to get up the steep hill here. Just to save time. Jump over the spring, jump over the zippers. And when we reach this ten ring thing with the ten ring boxes here, yeah, there's the red star ring. So now we can actually just go back to here. It's probably another way of getting it, but that's the way I remember of getting it. And that was actually right here, so uh Nope, we're not going to get a special stage this time. But yeah, it's actually a fairly simple level. Really really bright, really colourful, really fast. My personal favourite level of the game. And for my personal favourite level of the game, we're going to go straight into my least favourite level of the game. And it's probably, arguably, everybody else's least favourite level of the game. You know why? Because it's mostly underwater. But not just because of that. Uh, it's actually mainly because of the last part of this level, which I'm probably even go I'm probably gonna fail on really, really hard. And there's also those douchebags which kind of kind of didn't see it before. But there's like big sea lions in this cave, and you can actually kill them, I believe. There's one of them. But yeah, they kind of freeze areas and they cause inconvenience, and I've been hit by those a lot, and they're kind of annoying. And they freeze themselves, so basically they just kill themselves, kind of like the um, Asterons from. Well, yeah, they are the Asterons from uh, my Gears of. And Metropolis Zone and other such shenanigans. But yeah, for this first part, you can pretty much stay in um, doing this all the time. You can just get to this part and let go. I forget for the life of I me mean, where the red starring is. I know it's somewhere not in the water. So yeah, we have to kind of look out for that. I think it's actually around here, I have to be honest. Yeah, I think I know where it is. I need to power ball here. Power ball, please. And I don't really like the music of this uh, particular stage as well. Uh, I think I need to fly here after the star. No, I know it's around here somewhere. Actually, is it actually up here? Ah, there it is. Red starring. Hooray! Actually, quick. It's actually quick to go this way as well. So, ah, no shit, got crushed. Oh well I got the red star ring, so that's all that matters. I got the nice shiny red star ring of shininess. Oh no, but I get it again just because it's a red star ring of shininess. Why would you not want a red star ring of shininess? Ah, it's this place. This place, pain in the ass. Basically, you gotta do this in all in one shot from here with the flying. Because there's no air bubbles and silly things like that happen. And the bloody seals will actually block you in if you're too slow. Or you do something silly like that, so I may as well just drown here and enjoy another glass of water. And yes, if you are playing co-op, you lose two lives, so uh, figure out the logic where well, that'll be like probably one of the hardest places in um, why people say it's one of the hardest zones in the game. 
Wait, 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 you just really want to go through the line of ranks. And here there's a there's a bubble, but you can easily just race through and just get in. And when you know it, here's where the end level is. They even give you an extra life as well. So yeah, Act Three of this zone, I really hate it just because mainly just because of that section alone. I think other people do actually agree with me on that one. If you do, just pop a note in the comments just saying, yeah, you agree with me on that. Anyway, White Pat Zone's boss. You'll notice it's different music. That's because it's a different boss. I want that 10 ring box up there. And you remember how um, White Pat 2 had you going in the plug around the background? Uh, this boss also has that gimmick because it's Metal Sonic. He's new and improved and just as rotten as ever. He'll charge up an attack and then he'll use an attack, which is, I think his first one is just spin dashes into you. So you need to like hit him like three or four times, then he runs off like a little. Well, I think it's just two times, then he runs off like a little girl. And then we're on to the next thing. And that thing that looks like a planet there kind of looks like... From what I can tell, I'm not sure whether it's... Um, something that I don't really want to be spelling until uh, later on. Or whether it's just like the little planet from Sight CD since, appa since apparently because of... Um, how they've done continuity now. Uh, Sonic 4 actually takes place after Sonic CD. Oh, this attack. I don't like this attack. And you'll always get hit by it, and it's nasty. Oh, ow. Lame Metal Sonic, and you know it. Uh, he's going to do this attack where he just homing attacks into the ground, and if you're, do if you're doing this as Super Sonic, trying to do, do all the bosses as Super Sonic, which you can do, it's actually an achievement for. Um, it's actually an achievement to actually beat all the bosses as Super Sonic. You got to be careful though, because you can easily be too fast to. You can't actually react to that in time. and you'll just fall into a pet and that's terrible. But when we get to this part with a single rail, he's got one hit left, so uh... Not a problem. And it's sort of actually tran I don't know if this is actually sand or snow, but if it's sand it transitions well into the next stage. But if it's just like snow and it's like dark, it's because it's night time and it's dark. Which is probably more likely. Then uh... It's just me being a complete retard. As per usual. And saving that, we get to unlock, uh, well we unlock the boss, but well we don't actually unlock the uh, desert since we actually unlocked it when we beat uh, the first stage, but here's our next stage, Isle Desert Zone. Uh, basically a combination of Sandopolis and Isle Ocean. Even though I just thought Isle Ocean would be like somewhere like a sandy place anyway, but that was just me. Uh, we'll do that next time, so take care and I'll see you guys then.